Welcome back. Today we are reacting to another Kurtzgesagt video. If I am slaughtering that, please tell me. Anyway, today we're reacting to the deadliest being on planet Earth, the bacteriophage. I have no idea what that is, and I'm really excited to learn, so let's hop right into it. Please be sure to go check out and support the original creator. A war has been raging for billions of years, killing trillions every single day, while well, we don't even notice. The Crazy, war isn't it? By the single deadliest entity on our planet, the bacteriophage, or phage for short. Phage. A phage is a virus, not quite alive, oh. not quite dead. Also, they look as if someone made them up. Their head is an icosahedron, a sort of dice with 20 faces and 30 edges. A D20? It contains the genetic material of the virus and often sits on a long tail that has leg-like fibers. There are more phages on Earth than every other organism combined, including wow. bacteria. Really? And they are How? That's insane! Living things exist. And we think we're the center of the universe in your intestines and your eyelids right now which might make you nervous since phages are responsible for the majority I mean, of deaths itchy. on earth <laughs> but you're lucky while they do commit genocide for breakfast they only kill bacteria oh 40 percent of all bacteria in the oceans are killed by them every single why day. do they kill bacteria but phages also have major flaws is it like, like any other virus, food or need a host to survive and reproduce oh they're not much more than genetic so they, they use the bacteria as a host specialize usually a phage has chosen one specific bacteria and maybe some of its very close relatives these are its prey imagine a phage as like a cruise missile that only hunts and kills members of one very unlucky family when a phage finds its victim it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface so it's like a motion the phage squeezes its tail and injects its genetic information so it's like a reverse mosquito the bacteria is taken over for dna it's now forced to manufacture all the parts of new phages they only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages so use the bacteria's material to reproduce a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria the pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all of its insides and dies <laughs> new phages are released and begin the cycle anew in the last few years bacteriophages have enjoyed the attention of the second deadliest beings on earth humans <laughs> i knew it recently we've started looking into injecting millions of them into our bodies oh because that sounds like a great plan we screwed up in the past a single cut or a sip from the wrong puddle could kill you bacteria were our probably shouldn't fish. drink from puddles to be fair hunted us mercilessly. well i guess we didn't know that back then about 100 years ago we found a solution in nature by accident we found fungi that produced a compound that killed bacteria antibiotics antibiotics Suddenly, we had a powerful super weapon now they might be just about to talk about this i believe that humans are actually that there's a worry that humans are developing resistances to antibiotics from overuse and they're becoming less effective overall and that long term we're a little worried that maybe might not be a possible solution because we've just overused it and they're adapting i could be totally wrong but i guess we'll see antibiotics were so effective that we stopped thinking of bacteria as monsters only the old and weakest among us were killed by them we used antibiotics more and more for less and less serious causes yeah yeah and then it adapted for the monsters and the weapon but bacteria are living things that evolve and one by one they started to become immune against our weapons and if there's that many of them until we had you know they said there's more ba uh, phages than every other living thing combined if there's that many of them they're going to evolve fast right Especially if they have shorter lifespans and can reproduce as fast as they can. Superbugs could kill more humans a year than cancer. Wow. The days when a cut or bladder infection or a cough could kill you or your loved ones are coming back. In the US Scary. Alone, more than 23,000 people die from resistant bacteria each year. 
But it turns out that phages, our tiny killer virus robots, could save us. We can inject them into our bodies to help cure infections. Hold on. How can injecting millions of viruses into an infection be a good idea? <laughs> Sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. Bacteria. So specialized, in fact, that humans are completely immune to them. Really? They are too different. We encounter billions of phages every day, and we just politely ignore each other. Just do like that Antibiotics customary nod of the head as you're passing in the elevator. Everything, even the good bacteria in our intestines that we don't want to harm. Phages are like guided missiles that only attack what they're supposed to. Wait a minute. If we use phages to kill bacteria, won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves? Well, it's more complex than that. Phages evolve too. Okay. There has been an arms race between. So does this take a bunch of like engineering or so genetic engineering or whatnot? This makes phages smart weapons that are constantly getting better at killing. Because we can basically like program them to target specific things. I'm guessing. Against our phage, we still might be able to win. It turns out that in order to become resistant to even just a few species of phages, bacteria have to give up their resistance to antibiotics. We ah. must be able to trap them in a catch-22. This has already been successfully tested with a patient who had no other hope left. We've actually tested this then. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most feared bacteria, infected the man's chest cavity. They are naturally resistant to most antibiotics and can even survive an alcoholic hand gel. After years of suffering, a few thousand phages were directly inserted into his chest cavity wow. together with antibiotics the bacteria were immune to. After a few weeks, the infections had no way. completely disappeared. Why are we not finding this? The treatment is still experimental, and pharma companies are still reluctant to invest the necessary billions in a treatment that has no official approval yet. But okay, that makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Changing. And if there's one thing we know about the government is that they move slow when it comes to approving these things, typically speaking. And we better get used to it because the era in which antibiotics have been our super weapon is drawing to a close. It might be a weird concept, but injecting the deadliest being on planet Earth <laughs> directly into our bodies could save millions of lives. You know, humans are scary <laughs> in what we can do. Possible by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. If you'd like to support Kurtzgesagt, you can do so on patreon.com slash Kurtzgesagt and get fancy things in return. Wanted to leave that last little bit because these guys are amazing and they definitely deserve support. You know, if you enjoy these videos, and you can, of course, go support them because they really deserve it. That was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about bacteriophages. I believe I misspoke somewhere in there about the antibiotics treating phages. That's not really what I meant. I realized I said something wrong. I just don't remember exactly what it was. Really interesting video and it's quite interesting to think of us as you know the second deadliest creature bacteriophages take the crown but technically speaking we can control the bacteriophage and program it to do what we want so we're kind of still the most deadliest right in potential at least anyway that's it for today thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i hope that you have a wonderful day